Right. The last domain here, uh, finishing up the uh, CISSP uh, domains in totality. Law, investigation, and ethics. Um, we are going to uh, deal not with individual laws, but with um, uh, legal principles. Um, we will look at types of uh, legal systems. Um, we will look at issues of evidence and the, the rules of evidence. Um, in terms of uh, forensics, yes, uh, we're going to do that, but um, investigation, uh, you will find that uh, while you can hire uh, uh, specialists in, in terms of the uh, forensics and investigation and various aspects of, of investigation, and uh, believe me, um, there are all kinds of specialist fields uh, involved in investigation and policing, and there is special training. Uh, and, you know, do not pursue this on your own. Um, uh, in terms of an investigation, my you know, best advice to you is don't, but you may be faced with an, a situation where you have to, and primarily what you need to know is the management of the investigation. What is important, uh, how, uh, you know, certain types of information is uh, to be dealt with, um, what is allowable in terms of evidence, what is not, and your, your management of all of that can have a great bearing on the outcome of a case, a court case, if it comes to that. And always, always, I mean, for any incident even, we've talked about incident response, uh, for any incident, always assume it may end up in court. And so start off with with that in mind and uh, being as careful as if you are going to end up in court. Um, uh, we, will, we will get to that as, as we get through this stuff. Um, uh, we're going to be looking at ethics as well. Um, so all of these come, come into uh, this area. Now, there's lots of uh, legal literature out there. Um, not quite as much that is specialized in the area of uh, information technology and our uh, uh, particular concerns with regard to uh, law and investigations. Um, and, of course, uh, those titles that are uh, do vary in uh, in quality. So um, be uh, aware of that and uh, to give you some some basic references, um, okay, internet and online privacy. And again, privacy is, is going to be one of the areas that um, you are going to face again and again with regard to information technology. Um, and uh, who we have, Frackman, Martin, and Ray, the the authors of that one. Um, cyber Law, National and International Perspectives by Jurassa. Um, this is probably um, one of the most useful books in general because, again, as the title says, uh, National and International Perspectives, looking at the principles, looking at uh, the way uh, pretty much all legal systems will consider this, and of course, um, dealing with uh, legal issues. One of the reasons we're not looking at national laws is uh, everybody lives next door to everybody. Um, the 
person who is attacking you. Uh, it may be completely illegal what they're doing under the laws of your con country, but under the laws of the country where he lives, he, she, and or it, um, that may be a different issue and a different story. So um, you always have to consider uh, the international perspectives. Uh, protect your digital privacy. Uh, Caddy and McGregor. Uh, and uh, these uh, two women will uh, admit that they are not, or were not, when they uh, wrote this book, um, uh, specialists in law. Uh, they describe themselves as a couple of housewives. And honest to goodness, um, I don't think anybody could have done better. Uh, they hit it right out of the park, uh, right at the beginning, uh, and now, um, in a sense, have, uh, because of that, become specialists. Uh, they are some of the go-to people on, on uh, privacy. Computer and Intrusion Forensics by George Mohe et al. Um, that uh, is a, uh, a good introduction to the, the forensics area um challenges to G digital forensic evidence by fred cohen again as i have mentioned uh fred's um books and perspectives are frequently um uh, uh contrarian but are all the more valuable because of that um his uh idiosyncratic uh, perspectives on this um, really make you think and thinking is a good good idea in this area um, there is a book called Software Forensics by one Robert M. Slade uh, I have uh, well it was the first book in, in that particular field but also I've tried to uh, cover issues of, of forensics um, and so, uh, hopefully that might be of help to you. In terms of ethics, um, the classic is uh, Computer Ethics by Deborah Johnson. Um, but uh, Ethics and Technology, more recently, by Herman Tavani, uh, is a very um, useful and insightful um, work in, in that field. Um, so those two are the ones that you should be reading in the ethics area.